to Rock and Roll, baby. It's Friday, and your leader, Foopish Maximus, is here to take the lead. Welcome, my Fooper Troopers. Today, we have for you a super entertaining, a super exciting episode of the H3 Podcast, fresh as it gets filmed this morning, this afternoon, and brought to you steaming hot and fresh the same day for your enjoyment. Um, thank you to Audible for sponsoring this episode. And thank you to Ela Klein for being a wonderful care, a wonderful mom, an excellent you. co-host, and, I mean, truly, uh, who, could, who? what man could ask for a better wife and partner in life? I thank Ela for that. So thank, thank you very you. much. I want to thank Dan, the producer who dares to care about a show this Thanksgiving? I don't know. I just in the I'm just following my spirit. It takes okay. me to gratitude. Okay. I want to thank Dan, the producer, yeah. who cares on a level that is well. He should care that much because it is a job, and we do pay him fair. I think a fair wage to care at that level. That's true. That's but true. regardless of the <laughs> of the compensation, he does care. He's got a great uh, his personality, and boy, do we love to have him. That's true. Thanks, man. Was that not lukewarm? L- lukewarm? I mean, was it good or did it not? No, no. It was I, good. I felt we it. Do I appreci- felt it. Dan, we appreciate we do Dan. We appreciate Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Ian. The you have end- a problem where it, it starts to sound like you're kidding. I'm not kidding. I want, I want, want, I wish I. It's an ongoing problem that we have to address. Okay, well, this part, I'm definitely not. I definitely am not kidding when I say it. Ian, the intern, <laughs> he is. There. <laughs> there he is. And we love him for being there, don't we? And Zach, of course, who could forget? Who could forget? Whenever the audio levels are off, blame this fucking guy. <laughs> we love you, Zach. We love you, Ian. <laughs> Guys, let's get into the show, for Christ's sake. We've got... You didn't thank Allah. Oh, Allah? Or, you know... Allah? <laughs> yeah. Yahweh? Yahweh. Yahweh. Ye- Allah is the is the Muslim God. I know. So a, a Allah, God is a God. I just mean you. Yahweh is the Jewish God. You d- I don't care about what are God. Are we thinking Jesus or are we thinking God? We're thinking. We're, we're trick thinking. question. They're both the same thing. Oh shit! <laughs> 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 we are thanking the supreme being that put us all here together. Wow! On this blessed Friday. Wow! So thank <laughs> wow. you. To the one true and only God, whether you are a Muslim, a Christian, a Jew. That's right. This one God is like, hey, you could call me whatever you want. Forget about it. Exactly. To me, it's the regular. (laughs) And we serve it every day, raw as it gets. That's what I meant. Mm. So everyone go hold in. All right, let's. We have had a fascination (laughs) with Scooter. Oh, fascinating. Scooter Madness. Scooter people have way too much confidence. They have no consideration of other people on the road, on the streets. Mm -hmm. They have completely lost their mind, and they're out of control. There's something that happens when you sit on a scooter that it's like a brain infection. where It's it's almost like a a mental illness. And I'm not making—I'm just saying when you sit on a scooter, something in your brain clicks. And you're like, oh— the world is in my way. It's what happens to Spider-Man when he got bit by the spider. Mm, gives you... You get the, the scooter power. Scooter powers. Well, scooter powers, unfortunately, have limits. And we've seen those limits time and time again. I've got a bunch of new scooter content. Man, the one I really wanted to show you guys is actually... We decided not to. But <laughs> I'll describe it to you. <laughs> it's this guy in Korea. He misses the elevator because somebody, I guess, didn't leave it open for him. And obviously he's on a scooter. The whole world needs to cooperate with his demands. So here's the crazy part. You see the elevator lowering. So the guy on the scooter knew the elevator had already dipped out. So he backs up, rams the elevator full speed, and you see him lurch forward. Backs up a second time, rams it full speed. The door flips back. The elevator door flips back, exposing the shaft. And at that point, you're like, whoa, dude, that was close. 
And you would think that he would at that point be like, well, that was a close call. He, so he backs, he goes back a third time, slams that, he floors his scooter pedal. He's going 15 miles per, my, 15 miles per hour, flooring it, slams it again. <laughs> And he goes, slips under the elevator shaft. And the funny thing, um, and I'm sad to say, it, it is funny that he's holding on. He never lets go of the handles. Like, he still <laughs> thinks he's in control of the scooter. As he slips <laughs> under the elevator door, and you can see him just, you know, <laughs> he's holding like he's still got his foot on the gas all the way. And he just falls down the shaft. And then the door flips back behind him. Mm-hmm. And like nothing happened. And he disappeared, and he f- literally fell down an elevator shaft. Yeah, we thought it might be too much to show, but I mean, it's a, sh- it, it is so. F- the guy, you know, I mean, he probably suffered a terrible fate, but truthfully, after three times of trying to enter <laughs> an empty elevator shaft, the second time it almost flipping. I don't know what else. I don't know how much sympathy I have for a man. Who was prone to that level wanted. of scooter insanity? He had one goal, and he was gonna get it. He was getting in that fucking elevator. That bitch did not open the door. <laughs> I wonder if he just plopped on the top of that elevator. Ultimate mm. revenge. <laughs> mm. But um, but anyway, we don't have to watch that one. But I have plenty that we will watch. <laughs> Let's start here. Elevator, uh, scooter lady in a convenience store. You know, everyone's here. She enter, enter. Here she comes. Get the, f- get <laughs> out of my way. She's already like out of control. And you see how that guy moved. That's how they he should jumped, be treated. He jumped out of the way because he's like, dude. Or is it a lady? It was a lady. She's like, dude. If I don't move it, I'm losing it. That's and, right. And then here she comes, <laughs> through the aisle. <laughs> Just knocked over a whole case. <laughs> the whole display got knocked over. <laughs> And I'm assuming that happened because um, somebody didn't open the door for her or something. <laughs> so that's we. I mean, we're we're just getting started here on scooter scooter mania here, folks. Scooter nation. Scooter nation. I gotta get me a scooter. Look at this crazy guy. This is in Australia. This crazy mother is on the freeway. <laughs> And he oh tells God. the car to fuck off too, which is just amazing. Look at this. Scooter <laughs> Nace, y'all. <laughs> Watch this shit. Imagine oh getting God. on the freeway in a scooter. He's gonna get into the left lane too. Yeah, he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna get into this fast lane. <laughs> Dude. Oh they tr- they drive on the wrong side of the road. Oh right, in right. Australia. This is Australia. <laughs> yes, it is the wrong side. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Move over, mate. Move over. You're on the freeway. Move over. You're not supposed to be on the freeway. I love that attitude, oh, too. God. Fuck off, mate. The Australians are so great. Heck, fuck off, mate. You're on the freeway, mate. It's like, <laughs> like, it's so dangerous and scary, but they still talk the same. You're on the freeway, mate. <laughs> Fuck off! He's kind of taking care of him by uh, driving oh, yeah. slowly behind him. Yeah, he's guarding him. That's nice. Well, he's calling the police, and the police come up and show up, and he goes, "Fuck off, police. mate!" <laughs> and the police go, "You're on the freeway." <laughs> Victoria Mulgrave. You're on the freeway, mate. <laughs> yeah. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Hello, I love uh, the Australian. There's some bloke on the freeway in a scooter. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So you're following with hazard lights on. Oh, I am. Yeah. Does this homie do this on the regular, do you think? Would you pick Australian accent if you could pick one to have? And you tried to do I do love, yeah. It's near the top for me. For yeah, sure. I, I, I think so. That's I just love, the, I love yeah, the vernacular. So <laughs> that are your dags, dude. <laughs> Ratty your dags. That might be a New Zealand thing, yeah, but. Ratty your dags, mate. I just, I just love the 
<laughs> Dude, I, even the dispatcher is laughing. Right? I, yeah, I just love, they just seem to have a great dispatcher yeah. fan, and they got a great sense of humor as a people. And, uh, you're on the freeway, mate. <laughs> oh, he's crossing. Dude, this guy oh is God. crazy. Why did he get into the lane? Oh, my God, his trucks. So this is flying the, by. This is not the first time this dude has done this. Mate, you're on the freeway. Yeah. 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 Uh, Fuck off. Uh, brown jacket. He's wearing a brown jacket. Yeah. Yeah. Does he need a description? Yeah, you can't miss him. <laughs> He's you, on a scooter. You can't miss him, mate. Uh, He's on a scooter on the freeway. <laughs> they actually show up really fast. I was impressed with the, the Australian police response. Oh. I don't yeah. know whether they're okay. seeing him or not. Yeah, are you going to... Wait oh, to did they? Oh, here they are. They show up here. He's really... He's traveling quite a distance, too. <laughs> you know? How much gas do you have on that thing? Is it battery? It's like, electric, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's I gonna don't know, run man. out. <laughs> I don't know. I can't imagine it goes for that long. Look at that cough, it's like, alright, dude. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> You're on the freeway. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so good. <laughs> Yeah, that, that guy definitely was a good Samaritan. Yeah. Let me go back to the conf the epic confrontation. Because <laughs> that definitely was my favorite part. Oh, did they already have an epic confrontation? No, not yet. It's right after this. Yeah. This is it. Guys, buckle up. <laughs> buckle up in those scooter seats. We're going 18 kilometers an hour. Move over, mate. Move over. You're on the freeway. Move over. You're not supposed to be on the freeway. I love his outfit, the old guy. <laughs> and he's got a cane in back. That's my favorite outfit for an old guy. Just classic as it gets. Like a brown kind of car cardigan and then Adidas like track suit pants. <laughs> yeah. And then you've got like the, the newspaper yeah. goods hat and a cane in yeah. the back. Yeah. Move over, mate. You're on the freeway. Fuck off, cunt. <laughs> I love these guys. <laughs> They're so... Yeah. So, I mean, scooter mania is cr is uh, intercontinental. <laughs> it crosses boundaries. Um, this was a... Oh, this was a short and sweet... This was a fan submission, Dan? Yeah, somebody emailed this to me. Oh my god, Eli, you're gonna love this. We're getting a lot of scooter submissions. I, gotta I say, saw this. Keep, you, I, keep them coming. Yeah, I mean, seriously. I want to exhaust <laughs> the the pool. Eli, you saw this? I did. In preparation for today. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, let's examine this because. <laughs> Dude, that hit her so hard. She's a heavy lady that it lifted her front wheels back. She, so, like, that was a pretty fat impact. <laughs> Ow! She was going... <laughs> she was going quick. And she didn't see that or what? Ow! Ow! <laughs> Hold on, let me put it in slow motion. I love how she just continues on. <laughs> that's the that's dude, that's the scooter beauty. Let's go. Let's slow it down here. I mean, I want. I don't want to miss a frame. I think I finally know what to get you for your birthday. Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> Be, uh, you know what happened? Because she ne okay, she, she smacked her face on this thing. And she kept her hand on the gas, so the <laughs> wheel popped up. Because she would, she refused to take her her damn hand off the gas. Like all these scooter people refuse to slow down for anything. Yeah, that's scooter nash. Scooter nash, bro. Look at this shit. You never slow down. Oh, oh, fucking keep it rolling, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and she's out of there just as fast as she came, man. She doesn't even seem hurt, but, uh, <laughs> but it seems like it would hurt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're gonna buy me a mobility scooter? Yeah. You know, somebody raised a good point that our 100 shirt challenge on the Right. I was that scooter guy. Yeah. I was channeling <laughs> the scooter. 
Oh, this was so fantastic. <laughs> I gotta watch. Sorry to everyone, but I gotta How watch. How much that. do they cost? Couple, couple dowie probably. Yeah. Like, maybe, yeah. maybe upwards ten thousand for really premium shit. Do you need like a license permit? Fuck no, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no way, you need a permit for that shit. Mm. <laughs> dude. Oh. I mean, that must have been quite an impact because it lifted her, f lifted the whole scooter up. Looks like they're between eight hundred and three thousand. Is what I'm saying. Three thousand. Really? Three thousand is like shit. for for the premium shit. Yeah. What? I should. That would be the it's <laughs> most epic prop ever. I'm telling you. Ela, get me a mobility I'm on scooter. I'm Ela. I'm already doing stuff. Oh my god, <laughs> that would be so fun. Oh, that would be so fun to cruise around the neighborhood in a mobility scooter. Did or would love it. Everyone would know me. <laughs> Man. So, well, finally, I have what is possibly the most famous um, scooter... Uh, uh, what's the word? Uh, vigilante. Hmm. Mobility Mary is her name. <laughs> And she has a YouTube channel that was quite famous, quite notorious. She would film herself cruising around in public on her scooter and recording in what her opinion was evidence of people mistreating her as a handicapped lady. But what in actuality was her being a scooter person. And so this is 12 minutes long and I'm like, well, I'll, 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 this is a best of. Courtesy of... Where does she post them, do you know? Her, she has a YouTube channel. Wow. And so... I quickly realized that it's all gold. And I'm telling you, let's just watch it and we can turn it off when we're over it, but... It's all gold. <laughs> I mean, watch this. Mobility Mary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so good. Excuse me, sir! <laughs> Excuse me, sir. It's just a dude. Yeah. This is by our look. Look where it is. This is the 405 South. Yeah, I think she lives in Santa Monica or something. Okay. I have to wait. It's just a dude with a bike who's making way for it across the street. Oh my God. He literally couldn't get out of the way more. <laughs> Being so courteous. <laughs> me cross. Can you see if a car is coming? <laughs> Mary gets attacked by ferocious man-eating dogs. You Can you like make the <laughs> Oh, is that your dog? Not on a leash? It's <laughs> two tiny, like, five-pound cutie pies. It's not okay. It's against the law. It's the sweetest little dog. Oh, my God. <laughs> and she's, there, she's they backing me, up. They jump on me. They scratch me. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm covered with scars from dogs. Okay. <laughs> Not this dog. You just calm down and just follow the law. It's I a hope you have a wonderful day it's and a, a great leash. Halloween. It's a These are oh, the it's lovely, Halloween. Lovely it's a leash law. <laughs> it's this sweet Is that true by the way? I guess. For you you need to have your dogs on a leash. Anywhere anytime. I mean, I don't know about the whole of the United States, but I'm pretty sure... You can't speak for the whole of the United States. <laughs> Most places. Okay, yeah, I guess so. But these are like ti the tiny, cute little dogs in the I got someone yelling area. at me in this building. Oh, in this building? Because Shredder, Shredder loves to, like, say hi to everyone, so there was a lady and he jumped at her trying to say hi. Mm -hmm. And she was like, you need to have him on a leash. Was she on a scooter? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> um... Like that she's covered in scars from dogs. Like she's just constantly <laughs> yeah. being by the way, mauled by dogs. Especially a dog that's... But watch how she bones out at, at the end of the conflict. She's like, all right, well, see ya. Space <laughs> Mountain. <laughs> so. Here's another ferocious dog. Oh, God. What's going to happen? Oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> Hello? This woman is probably has headphones on. Would you on or mind something. going to the side? Please. Oh, 
please go to the side. She's well behind her. I'm sure she can't hear her. Ma'am, please go to the side. I can't go around. Does she not have a bell or something? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is what I get. Something about being on a scooter, man. I'm telling you. Ma'am, I can't go around you. Please. Oh, did she uh -oh. flip her off? She either flipped her off or waved at her. I, I have to wonder. Wait, she's that's probably a known. Up. She probably knows her. Yeah, it's probably a known oh. personality in this neighborhood. Yeah. That kind of changed the perspective, the though, <laughs> to get a flip off. <laughs> it's true. Although, she, this, I wouldn't be surprised if this woman tried to, like, get her dog euthanized by the city or something. Yeah. And she's like, all right, I'm not moving out of the way. Ew, please. This dog bit me. I have. Yeah, she definitely flipped her off. <laughs> Whoa. That's serious beef. This is pretty epic. <laughs> this lady refuses to let me <laughs> She's narking on her to bystanders. <laughs> but she won't let me. I can't. Why not? Oh, this is amazing. She's in the middle of the street right now. Oh my now. god. Oh my god. I can't go in the street on, on the street. I can't walk. Now she stopped she in a crosswalk to argue faster. with pedestrians about it. <laughs> Have a good day. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, dude. She's long gone. Man, mobility. I, can, I mean, do you see what I'm saying? I could watch this whole thing easily. Yeah, what's, like, what's next? Each one of these is a highlight. Wait, this. There's a there's a finale to this one that's uh, particularly Oh, it uh, hasn't epic. ended? Oh, yeah. Dude, look how fast she Oh, she caught but, up. Yeah. Oh, right man, here. this is serious beef. Excuse me. Sir, this uh, lady won't let me go past her. Oh my god. She won't just move over for a minute. What? I love how she involves everyone in her <laughs> drama. What am I supposed to do? She won't let me go past her. What? what is he supposed to do? <laughs> Yo, this shit is crazy. Well, she she clearly knows what to do. She's got to run right through him. This is great. This is this is better than bo most movies I've watched. <laughs> this is the most exciting thing on television right now. What most... is wrong with you? <laughs> Just let me go. I mean, I, I, have to, I have to know what happened with twins, yeah, them because be it's like it's quite insane what the yeah. other lady's doing at this. Yeah, point. like just move over. Yeah, this is pretty fucked up. Even if she did try to get your dog euthanized by the city, <laughs> just let her pass. This is some real vindictive shit. <laughs> and you can only imagine her screaming at her this whole time. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Damn, this is something else. Where's this? What part of town is this? I, like I said, I think it's like Santa Monica or uh, hmm. Venice, beautiful. somewhere on the west, on the west side. I can't get close oh to your dog. You're nuts, man. And you're going on YouTube. That's true. I need to go all the way up to Whole Foods. So they definitely have previous speed. Yeah. What? I've been bitten several times. Hold on, let, 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 let me let me examine. But re oh, that was the best part. This, this I'm sorry. I just want to hear what they said again. Now's your chance, man. Now's your chance. I can't get close oh, to your dog. Oh, she can't get close to the dog. Uh. Lady, you gotta, you, <laughs> you gotta move along. <laughs> and you're going on YouTube. I, I need to go all the way. I up do to feel like she probably house. called the police on the dog or something or something stupid. I've been bitten several times. Please move. Oh, move is to it gonna happen? Is my dream wish gonna happen? <laughs> Whoa! Oh, what? Crazy. YouTube lady. What? Another flip up. Okay. What was you know, that? This, this You're sick. Yeah, this lady's crazier than. This is the Where's crazy the lady in the video. I need one. That lady's a. Oh my god. 
Whoa, I didn't expect that. What? Now, all of a sudden, I mean, maybe there is scooter discrimination. Uh, yeah. Feeling some sympathy for Mary here. Yeah. When I first saw her throw up that middle finger, I was like, oh, the lady doesn't hear. Right. That was... Huh? I, I have to assume that they have history. Oh, they do. She I, said that, but, yeah. I've met you before. Right. But regardless, I mean, you're not even on a scooter. You can't act like that off a scooter. You know what I mean? You don't even have an excuse. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Huh. Interesting neighborhood. Illuminating. <laughs> I mean, yeah. But do you see what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'll keep watching this the whole podcast. We'll just be watching mobility. Now, now Ethan, would you want a three-wheel or a four-wheel scooter? <laughs> are, you, are you browsing Amazon right now? Well, three-wheel doesn't sound stable at all. I, who am I going to run it's over with three-wheels? It's more exciting. Wheels? No, I want Because they're four. the same price. I want four Just wheels. Just a preference. What's the point of having three wheels if it's the same price? <laughs> it's like she said, it's an element of danger, man. Yeah. You can hit turns harder. Or Depends something. how scooter nice you are, you know. I want four wheels because I need okay. I need balance. I need I need weight and I need balance. Okay. <laughs> I'll add that to the factors. I want the craziest scooter you can find. <laughs> And I'm gonna put spikes on the front of it and like I could take it to West Coast Customs. <laughs> that would be so <laughs> epic, dude. <laughs> She's in the bike lane now, man. That's pretty wild. Oh no. She's in the bike lane. There's a bus on her right. She's crossing the intersection. I'm scared for her right now. Oh my god. Whoa. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so a car passed on her right and pulled into Taco Bell, and now she's chasing him down. Almost took out a runner, too. Wait, she's going to the drive-thru? I think she's going after him. <laughs> what? Was that a dangerous move the guy did? I mean, Excuse he knew he was me, going to the Taco Bell. So. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. Oh my god, he's inside the car. Yeah. Sir? Let me, Hello? Uh, let me describe to our audio listeners. So wow. So she was crossing the street and he <laughs> passed on her right, but he went into the driveway. So I think it was fine. But she was so spooked that she followed him into the Taco Bell. He's in the driveway ordering and she's pulled up behind him in the driveway at Taco Bell. He's trying to order on the intercom and she's yelling at him. <laughs> Hello? Hello? You almost hit me. You made a totally oh, illegal move. Get the fuck away from me. Oh, right. <laughs> yes, People I'm are so hostile. Almost in life, I did not hit you. I said you almost There's hit no me. Almost you made an illegal. Get the fuck off the street with that thing. You're in the street. It's <laughs> hmm. People are pretty aggressive. Wow. Scooter people get it hard. I mean, she's definitely starting. Like, but people are really aggressive. I mean, this guy's coming out hard. But on the other hand, he's like, look. But she's probably an elderly lady on a scooter. Would you yell at? I would be like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, right? No, no, I wouldn't. Of course not. And why was she in the street? Not a car. That's not a car. <laughs> it's a disability <laughs> mobility. She backed out quick. Disability Yo, as soon as she got out of the car, she started going in reverse. <laughs> I'm not hit you. I'm with my kids here. Go away. I have my two little boys here. Oh, do you? And they're alive. You almost yeah. killed me. Oh, no, he didn't. Go away. I did not hit you. You should get out of the street with that thing that you're riding. He's right. She was in the middle of the street. Yeah. It's not a bike. Oh, my God. <laughs> How can so much golden content be generated from one person? Yeah. Like, I swear to God, these are all bestsellers. <laughs> I always find that an interesting defense, and I've seen it before, when a parent comes out acting crazy and cursing and goes, I've got my kids here. It's like, isn't that why you should be chilled out? Get the fuck out of my face! I've got my kids here! It's like... Yeah. Mm. No? So, you can get nine miles and, uh... What? <laughs> on a charge. <laughs> <laughs> nine miles on a charge. How far does that get 4.25 speed. What was that? 4.25 is the top speed. 4.25 miles, miles, per miles per hour. No, no, see, you're looking at bullshit, because I see her. these people going like 15 miles per hour. <laughs> okay. That's garbage. Okay. He needs one he can take on the freeway. <laughs> I need one that goes at, like, I mean, I'm looking for one that goes 15, at least. Okay. Four miles per hour? How slow <laughs> is that? 
get out of here, Eli. I thought you loved me. That you gonna buy me that shit for my birthday? <laughs> okay, let's check out the three thousand dollar one. Yeah, what the hell were you looking at? Are you gonna buy me some? What was that one? Eight hundred. I'm just me? checking. <laughs> I'm just educating. Am I worth that to you? So this one top speed eight not miles per hour. See, you're not. You got now like the, the seat. I just linked you a fifteener. The seat is found. twenty-two inch wide. Will you fit in that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to take a measurement. I don't know how wide my ass is these days. <laughs> um, Eli, you keep doing research. I'm gonna watch this. Fifty <laughs> miles per hour sounds good though, Dan. Well, so, this is cool. <laughs> I can't do anything. So she's under a bridge. How did she get I can't here? Do She's under a bridge in L.A. a lot of homeless lady. people and, and, and pitching oh, tents wow. and shit in L.A. And so someone has a tent pitched with all their belongings and the sidewalk is blocked. Although she has a point, doesn't she? I mean, you, you really should not be blocking sidewalk. Yeah. I mean, there are mobility laws for handicapped people for a reason. And she, I think she has a valid point in this case. You know? You should check out the after this the scooter in Discord, the Dan sent. Okay, great. This is just the scooter episode. <laughs> now I have to turn around on this but I mean I, I kind of do agree, like this is totally out of control. There you have to leave space for people to cross. Oh my god. But I love, Do you think I, these people are <laughs> choosing anything right now? Like I understand they're homeless, but still like What is she doing there? She's she's on the scooter. She travels by scooter. <laughs> <laughs> on the way to Whole Foods again. <laughs> but I love what a tragedy it is. Just, oh. <laughs> she's crying? Yeah, it sounds like it. Look, as a homeless person, you definitely want to not be violating the law. Because, you know, if you're trying to live and not disrupt the flow of society, then regardless, it doesn't matter what their situation is. They can't block the whole sidewalk. Ha people on scooters need to be able to travel. Bikes need to be able to travel. People on foot need to be able to travel. You're saying it's okay that he's blocking the entire sidewalk? No, it's not okay, but I doubt these people, anything is okay in their life. <clears throat> you know what I mean? It's like, Fine, I get it. You, they're homeless. They probably yeah. Okay, but still, she, I'm I'm sympathizing she, with with Scooter Mary. <laughs> but she shouldn't be there. This looks like a main Wait, road. Like Scooter she, Mary. Yeah. No, this is like think about. There's lots of places in LA where you're the sidewalk goes under the freeway. This is like you're traveling like between it's, neighborhoods. It's not. Well, maybe that's true. She's going too far. <laughs> She's gone too far. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I can't argue. She's with you. probably only got like one more mile left on her battery. She's yeah. gonna get stuck. Yeah, good point. I can't argue with you on that. <laughs> okay, just check out that scooter. Oh, you sent me. You want me to look at a scooter? Yeah, because it's got a demonstration video. Let me finish this saga and I'll open that up. I mean, just this clip because I want to see how if she takes him out or. Mary almost gets hit. You don't want to watch this first? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's, let's come on. <laughs> we're almost we're at the 30 minute mark. This is the scooter app. <laughs> oh, it's dark. She's on the scooter at night. You okay. see? I wonder if she's got lights on she's it. She's got to stay home. I bet you she doesn't have lights on it or anything. You remember how in Israel people like go full speed on the sidewalk? Can you yeah. imagine her dealing with that? <laughs> oh my god, I'm on the edge of my seat. Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> hey, let me, let me go back. I gotta hear it. She totally could see him coming. <laughs> well, there's no light. She's not, she doesn't have light. Oh! My god! <laughs> Oh my god! I'm saying I'm sorry, I'm sorry! If you killed me, it isn't gonna make any difference! How <laughs> sorry you are! The car, I'm sorry! The car was about to hit me too, I'm so sorry! Well, better it hits me than hits you! No, Go oh away! God. She's like, wow. all right. Well, there you go, see someone sane. Someone who wasn't like, be. fuck you! 
But she doesn't have lights on. She's not following the scooter rules. Right. She shouldn't be out at dark. Uh-oh. Oh, Uh-oh. I think I missed it. <laughs> oh, this is my favorite. This is the first one I ever saw. This dude's uh, on a skateboard. Huh. I'm not sure yet how they're going to interact. She's at a corner. There's a dude on a skateboard waiting to cross the street. It's not until she crosses that oh, the incident happens. This is going to take forever. <laughs> She's upset, and I don't know why. Okay, skateboard is out of frame, so it doesn't, it's not his problem. Hmm. Yeah, I think there's a long gap here. You can fast forward it a little bit. They really included her just <laughs> waiting idly at yeah, a yeah. red light, huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm here for every single moment of it, Dan. <laughs> I'm in for the long stretch. Uh-oh. She's inching Wait, forward. Wait, is she going in a red light? I think she's waiting for her to switch. Is that right, Dan? Yeah. yeah. They, got, they they did us the courtesy of her waiting at this red light. <laughs> yes, this is, this is an important uh -oh. context. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Guy on a bike showed up. Okay. Oh, she backed. Wasn't it. She backed up for him and said sorry. I mean, pretty thoughtful, Mary. Like an episode of The Handmaid's Tale. You keep hey. thinking something's gonna happen, yeah. and nothing happens. Nice one, Eva. <laughs> All right. They could have cut this. I mean, really. Okay, it's green. We got a green light. Here we go. She's moving. She's in the street. Season finale. Right. This one doesn't even go white. She's halfway across. Excuse me! <coughs> There's someone blocking this. Go up there, There's someone blocking the curb with a wheelchair. So, I need to get out of the street. Come out the street. I can't until you move out of just come on and There's plenty of shit. Get out of the street. <laughs> I can't go over the curb. Right there. Oh my god. Oh my god. So again, once again, I feel like it takes two to tango, you know? <laughs> like, she is obviously obnoxious and rubs people wrong, but the, f so for, yeah. first of all, clearly she has enough space. Yes. But this lady is intentionally, because she's irked by, by mobility, Mary, she could easily just take another step in the other direction, but she's not, just despite her. But, but she's on the street right now, so I think this lady is just wanting her to get off the street first, and then they'll figure it out, you know? I mean, <laughs> what's to figure out? She's obviously just... Because she's standing in the direction she wants to go, I guess. Oh, I think she just wants to go straight, Hila. No, I don't think so. No, she does. She just wants to go straight. She's not even turning right. Watch this. Let's keep watching. I, I need to go so. up there, ma'am. I gotta analyze. Look at her finger. I need to get out of the street. Come out the street. I can't until you move out of... You just come on and stop playing. That's a handicap ramp. I can't... I can't go over the curb! Right there. Oh my god. You're right there. You can't move another couple of inches. Okay, I have to come down. So you can just right there. You have plenty of room. Oh, there's someone in the wheelchair? No. See, she made it perfectly. Oh, and she, she went straight. Bitch. Oh my god. <laughs> so you see, and she called her a bitch. So she was just going straight, you know. Thanks for watching. Well, thank you for, for mobility scooter. Boy, that was fun. <laughs> I don't know what can top all that, but I'm definitely willing to see what else is out there. So, Ela sent me a scooter. She's got her eyes on a birthday present for me. It's called ProgressMobility.com. $3,000. I cannot believe you can get it in the door for $3,000. No, check out this video. Okay. Family of scooters. Introducing that's our new... How do I flip That's all. I mean, that's all I saw from it. Just I just love this shot. New Four wheel e They didn't even add a full screen option. They're like, these old fucks don't know how to full screen. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna zoom. Look at those. Those look badass. Those are like little Vespa. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, let's see. We should get two. <laughs> <laughs> e wheels. We've you know, added a new member to the E Wheels <laughs> family of scooters. Fuck. Introducing our new four-wheel EW72. Mm -hmm. E-Wheels is a trendsetter when it comes to offering an nice out-of-the-box mobility scooter that has style, speed, quality, and at a price that anyone can afford. 
I mean, let's face it. Our scooters are not like the ones that grandma used to putt around on. Our scooters <laughs> turn no. heads. Your turn now heads. And that's what I'm going to do. Just like flash. this guy. The EW72 powerful 700 watt motor enables this scooter to reach speeds 50 up miles to 50 per hour. Miles that's what I'm hour. talking about. And equipped with the speed Rio stat. I need to hurt, be able to hurt as people, low you know? As one mile per hour. Which is nice if you're in a crowded space. Oh, that's cool. With a maximum weight of five Nobody ever put that down. A comfortable <laughs> you know what I mean? The they just never watched this video, so it's always at 15. I trust my own leg when it comes to speed. <laughs> cool. So, 2800 bucks. Not bad. What color? Now, do you want me to Not check? Not bad at all. Do you want me to check if there's like a scooter for two? For a whole family? Why are still talking to me? Sorry. Okay, get out of my life. Do you want me to check if there's a scooter for a family? Like a, you, like a tandem scooter? Like are a tandem you on bike? your own in this mission? Can you want to ride tandem with me <laughs> and Theodore? <laughs> I don't know if that kind of defeats the point. That kind of reduces your mobility <laughs> on a mobility scooter. <laughs> I think we all ought to have our own. Okay. Yeah. Because, frankly, Eli, you would just slow me down. <laughs> what are we at? We at 30 minutes? Yeah. Break time. Well, that was a lot of fun on this epic Friday, this most epic of Fridays. It's going to be a lot of fans very happy we watch Mobility Mary. To, oh, that, really? That got, it was submitted like 30 times, so thank oh, you to wow. everybody. She is a legend, dude. Yeah, she is a legend. She really is a legend. Yeah. And I'm, and I'm going to say she's not always wrong, no. but she is always Crazy. Oh, a little bit much. <laughs> <laughs> so with that being said, guys, we will be right back, right, right, right back after this quick commercial break. Do not go anywhere. Books is a beautiful thing. It's the spark of life that gives us knowledge, creativity, um, and entertainment. Books is a delight. It's magic. Carl Sagan once said, books is the closest thing to magic we can achieve as humanity. It's one dead person speaking through you, to you, through the pages of a book. That's why I love Audible. Because Audible translates that magic into things that you can listen to it's amazing and also you can do it but previously you had to choose were you reading or were you doing other things with audible that choice is made moot because i can exercise i can game i can drive i can babysit i can do pretty much just about anything and enrich my life while listening to audio books it makes us smarter, connected, makes us better partners, parents. It's inspiring voices compel stories, opening listeners to new experiences and ways of thinking. And guess what? There's no better place to listen than Audible. Audible members choose three titles every month, one audiobook plus two Audible originals that you can't hear anywhere else. Just go to A-U-D-I-B-L-E dot com slash H3 podcast or text H3 podcast to 500 500 and browse their unmatched selection of audio content. Now here I want to recommend to you guys it. Chapter 2 is about to hit movie theaters right freaking now and you are not and if if you have the opportunity to get this epic masterpiece on your audio book, it will give you chills, spills, spooks and more. The narrator Steven Weber is a genius. He's got all the moves. He creates this beautiful atmosphere. And you're not going to want to miss this part too. 28 years later. They come back to the town. Because kids are missing again. This is the book. Make sure the lights are on. Because as spooky as it gets. Okay. So now here also it gets even better. Start listening with a 30 day trial. In your first audiobook Plus two audible originals. For free. When you go to audible.com slash H3 podcast for free. Yes, I said free 30 day trial or text H3 P O D C A S T H3 podcast text H3 podcast to 500 500. And because we have one sponsor today and I am likely running to the bathroom as fast as I can to pee. I would like to take this time to say, hey, how are you? Nice to have you here. We appreciate everyone coming out here. Um, take an opportunity to listen to last week's episode. It was hamstrung by YouTube because we talked about 
knotty topics, and it got suppressed. I think it's a great episode. I think we talk about really important things. Uh, I think it's a shame that certain topics, I can't even say the name, the guys like Voldemort on YouTube, I can't even say his name, apparently, without getting this rating that uh, suppresses the views. So if you got time this weekend, check out last week's episode as well. And while you're at it, this hot, spicy shirt, which I love, one of my favorite shirts we've ever made. It's so soft and breathable, and it's just great. TeddyFresh.com. You know what time it is, TeddyFresh.com. You know what time it is. Dan, how long has this been? Uh, it's been a minute. A minute? So what do you think? We probably have enough time now. I'm probably just running back into the office, about to sit down now. So with that, let's get back into the show. Well... I had a lot of fun. I was just, we and Eli were just discussing that we need to make an intro for the podcast where we roll up on scooters or some shit. <laughs> or maybe like Dan's in the way and I like bump into him. <laughs> yeah. We talked last episode about this fish cannon, okay? Now, I express a lot of cynicism and, and, and let me just say that I was being, you know, over the top. I didn't really... I wasn't as cynical as I made it out to believe. I caught people, you know, it's real, okay? I accept that. It's a real thing. I just think it's a funny way to spend your time here on this Earth, planet Earth as a human being. It's to make a fish cannon. Developing that? Yeah. Okay, and to all the biologists out there. The who? The biologists <laughs> out there. All the, all the apparent ecologists all that watch the All the bloggers the out there. You know, everyone who's just like, of course a salmon cannon is a thing, Ethan. The fish are extremely endangered. It's like, all right, uh, dude. Uh, <laughs> you, uh, it's like, all right, dude. All of a sudden, you guys care when I'm wrong about something. Mm hmm. Uh, all of a sudden, 100% of our viewers are, e are ecologists and know about fish cannons. It did seem that way in the comment section. It did seem that way, you said? Yeah, that's what I... Yeah, exactly. You know? Wait, so, just to be clear, you 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 were just playing it up? I was playing it... I mean, people okay. aren't, aren't going to believe me now, right. but I was playing it up for, for comedic sake. I mean, that's what I figured at the time. I don't but... have that big of a problem believing it's real. <laughs> I just thought it was a funny thing. You know what I mean? It's definitely funny. So, to all the geniuses and, and uh, PhDs out there, um, I have this to show you in support of, of the canon being real, of which I'm only still 90% sure. <laughs> you know. But here, apparently, these motherfuckers restocking trout, lake trout in Utah by aircraft. <laughs> How are these fuckers... So I was like, man, how they survive that impact into the lake? These guys are just being f f dropped out of an airplane. <laughs> you know, and apparently that's fine. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Surely like half of those fuckers die. I don't think so. <laughs> they wouldn't do it if that was the case. They're just being dumped by <laughs> air. Why are we so fragile? I want to be dumped by an airplane and survive that shit. These fish have no problem being dropped from outer space into a fucking lake going like 200 miles an hour. Look at them. Just getting tossed out of that bitch like a dirty, wet fart. <laughs> it does look like that. <laughs> Damn. I was trying to think how to describe it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm, I did major in poetry you know, <laughs> in high school, so. Yeah. I, I mean, it's captivating, but... Uh, both captivating and shocking. What's going on here? They fish out the 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 trout and then they restock it. I, yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we needed the salmon cannon. If this is the alternative, I can see why. There's one I guy. Like I need an upgrade. Yo. So these were the lucky ones, and then the plane takes off, like goes higher up, and you can see there's one son of a gun. You'll see, they're all pretty much out, and then just one is like, I, uh, I'm fucked. <laughs> <laughs> you see that last one? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like, 
anyway, <laughs> so I thought that was fascinating. Yep. Fascinating. Oh, here you go. Waited till the last second. Yeah, that guy's fucked. <laughs> he, he was the pilot. <laughs> Comment on Reddit. Well, in short, I still am only, I would say, in fairness, 75% certain that Let's the cannon going is real. Down. Yeah, yeah, I'm going down. <laughs> Now, I want to give an update that I got my citizenship interview scheduled for next month. And now, wow. <laughs> now I'm studying for the civics test. And Wait, we, what's the capital of Wyoming? That's Wait. not on the civics no. test. I okay. just started studying. Don't Cheyenne. put me on the spot right nice. now. Am I right? Uh... Capital. Wait, oh, if you don't know, Dan. What the hell are you to quiz us? Know. I think it's Cheyenne. It's yeah. Cheyenne. Good. Nice. You see? Look at you. You are an American I citizen. I thought that was a Porsche. <laughs> That's the Cayenne. Oh. Uh, so. Don't um, let that. Don't let the uh, the customs <laughs> see this. Why? That's very American of me to know the name of the car. Very true. Go ahead. So I um I am starting to study, and then. When I feel ready, we're going to do the test on the podcast. Ethan's going to test me. Mm. And um, that's it. I think you're going to nail it. You're already getting close. I got like the first so, so, 15 answers well, out of 100. Or that's questions. That's good, though. I mean, we just started. Like, tell me this. Uh, what, are the th what are the three words in the Constitution that... We the people. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Why... What was what were what was the Civil War fought for? Um, There's three reasons. Wait, the Civil War had three reasons. Yes, name one reason the Civil War was fought. There's three reasons that they list. There's one uh, obvious one. To end racism. So you keep saying end racism, and I go worse. It was worse oh, than it's racism. The right, slavery. Yeah. It's like racism, but way worse. Yes. Yeah. Slavery, state rights, and to keep the union together. Okay. Yeah, that one I didn't memorize yet. To end slavery. That would be... Racism, is what I said. Oh, yes. Racism. <laughs> racism. Yo, fuck you, dude. <laughs> Civil War. Um... Okay, no, no. I gotta study. Not, now's not the time? Yeah. I just want to throw one more at you. Oh, yeah, what's the capital of the United States? Washington, D.C. And what's the name of a state that borders Canada? Washington State. Yeah. There you go. Wow. <laughs> That's a new one that you wow. learned. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, there some are trickier than others. Yeah. For sure. But I'm excited. You're going to go in there, and they're going to give you a little American flag when you come out, and you're going to mm. be a citizen. That's cute. And you're going to get to vote in the 2020 election. You may be even able to vote for... Uh, Do I really get, like, a little flag? I think they give you a little American flag. <laughs> I mean, whenever I see pic people of, <laughs> pictures of people coming out after it, they have, huh. like, an American flag, so I'm assuming they hand it to them. Now I'm excited. I mean, I don't think they're all bringing... You know what's funny? We, we have an attorney who's hand helping us with it, and she... One of the guidelines was uh, dress appropriately when you go on your interview. Do not wear American print shirts and <laughs> pants. Where was that? I didn't read that. I remember <laughs> reading that somewhere. To like to not go dress. So I can't wear my Guy Fieri hat. <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, that okay. is a little over the top, but I mean, why? Why not? You know, I, I feel like you're trying too hard. Yeah. I see. <laughs> I think you're supposed to like look like a respectable citizen is the best look. Because also you have to take an English lesson, so you have to be able to speak um, English pretty well mm -hmm. to become a citizen, which Ela, of course, is a uh, slick speaker right. of English. YouTube, there was a huge development in the world of YouTube, an uh, epic, epic, epic victory in the world of YouTube. Um, huge, this is amazing news. So, this is something that I knew was in the works, but I didn't know when it was going to happen. Team YouTube, look at the amount of likes. People are people are supporting it. 120,000 likes. They said, new today, 
a policy preventing copyright owners from making money on manual claims. Four, short song clips, example, five seconds of a song, unintentional audio, examples, music from passing cars. Claimants can still block monetization or the video itself, but timestamps will help you edit out the claim, even if they do do that. I feel like I had to supplement theirs because I don't think they did a great job of explaining it. I was going to say they're doing better, though. Oh, yeah, they're doing this, much better. Like this tweet, Not the hate. This tweet makes sense. Before, they would just like come up with statements that would just leave you, leave you with many questions. And I don't know. We got emojis now. So. Well, yeah, I'm, I was going to say I like the drum roll emoji at the yeah. top. It was really cool. But I said, you know, for clarity, this basically makes it so that they can no longer make money on brief matches. And so the point of this change is to remove the financial incentive mm -hmm. of these parasitic claim farms. Like we've discovered that there's companies that work f that are third parties that have just hordes of people in rooms mm -hmm. watching YouTube videos all day looking for any reason, any excuse. Yeah. It has nothing to do with fair use or good faith. It's literally just grabbing free money from people that actually deserve it. And so what they're doing is removing the financial incentive. So if one of these claim farms goes and finds, uh, for example, Mr. Beast humming the tune of a song for five seconds, they're like, okay, you can claim the video, you can block the video, um, they can't claim. Right? Well, claim means that you basically saying, okay, you, you own something that's copyrighted here. So they can claim the video still. They can, and you can block it. You can claim and track it, but you cannot monetize it. Okay. That's what they changed. Mm. You can, so they okay. removing that option and thereby removing the incentive altogether okay. because 99% of the time when you have a video that's claimed, it's they just want to earn money on your you, video. Exactly. The setting they choose is uh, monetized, no restrictions on viewing. Mm -hmm. We just want the money. No restrictions, no at tracking, no anything. We just want the free money. 99% of the time. Yeah. And so YouTube in this really uh, brilliant play, and let me tell you, this this play will not come without challenges from these huge... Uh, license holders, UMG, these behemoths. Um, a lot of people are going to be losing a lot of money from this decision by YouTube. And I wouldn't be surprised, in fact, I'd be surprised if there weren't some big legal challenges, mm -hmm. court filings, lawsuits that comes YouTube's way. So I want to appreciate the gravity of this situation that YouTube is making a huge play at at the risk of their own, you know, legal status to the benefit of creators. So, again, YouTube's not very good at tooting their own horn. So I want to help them explain what a big deal this is. They're gonna, they are going to, this is going to cost them mm -hmm. a lot of good faith, and they're probably gonna get sued by huge fucking companies. But there you go. I think, you know, they're standing up and clearly, I mean, clearly people are saying, well, we're glad it, you did it, but why did it take so long? I think this is something that a lot of, they've had a lot of lawyers, they've had a lot of people building yeah, the case, absolutely. laying the groundwork. You need to have a solid case. It people, probably can get pretty, like, great, too. Mm -hmm. Like, when does it apply and when doesn't? Mm -hmm. They didn't say specifically. They just gave examples. So, yeah, the specific rules, I'm sure, are... They said in their longer description that th it's still like you got to treat it as you're responsible. Mm -hmm. If there's anything that's not yours, you know, yeah, yeah. they can't 100% guarantee you anything. Right. Right. Um, right. Exactly. And so... They say this is an important step with more to come towards a better copyright system for creators. So, yeah.
This is a huge step. And like I was saying, I think they must have had lawyers laying the groundwork, analyzing, looking for precedent, looking for legal arguments to make this move because you got to be 100% ready for the legal challenges that are inevitably going to come your way. And they got to make sure they've got a strong argument in case. And because you guys got to understand, there are laws that YouTube has to abide by. There are legal precedents that if they don't abide by it, the DMCA, like, then they're, the system in which we enjoy is just simply not possible. YouTube cannot exist because they have this treaty, this, um, you know, it's like a diplomatic agreement in a war. They go, okay, you can exist. We recognize your sovereignty as a website, but we have to have the right to steal whatever anytime anything whatever cannot they don't want the rights infringed at all so this is youtube putting a line in the sand shots are been fired <laughs> you know what i mean i mean this is yeah. really this is a big thing here so so can i ask just so i understand it correctly is, they're still you know say you have like a, a five second clip of a song in a video that they, they can still block your video for yes that. yes Right, but they just can't get any money. Exactly. Right. And the thing is that they mostly okay. do it for money. That's why. Right, right. It makes sense. It makes sense. They're removing the financial incentive because there are parasitic claim farms that are running rampant that are literally existing for the sole purpose of getting free money. Mm -hmm. And they are basically trying to put these guys out of business. Right, right. Right, because if they wanted to be vindictive, they could just start blocking videos, but there's no... There's no incentive. There's no incentive right. to actually So then they're that. just right. wasting right. manpower and they get no money. There's so no they, reason for them to go they start wouldn't blocking do that. videos. It's a pretty clever move. Yeah. It makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. I was very impressed. For the longest time, the incentives have been all out of whack. There's never been... Uh, there's never been any reason for these claimers to not claim everything because there's no consequence to that. Mm -hmm. So they had a problem of incentive, and this was a very great way of addressing it. So, let's give it up. Very smart, very bold. Wow! And they used emojis. We like that. They're we communicating. <laughs> right. And, um... I do want to say... I feel like I want to take 100% of credit for all these changes. <laughs> I really do want to say that. <laughs> but I don't even know if I can say that. But I, I do. Right, Yila? I mean, this Well, is, you do talk a lot to the one guy who's doing a lot. Of all the good changes? Of all the good stuff. I mean, this is all... I can't... I don't even know if I can say that. I don't know what we can say, but there's one guy that we love. <laughs> and he happens, Very high up. He happens to be Israeli. <laughs> but he's a funny guy. That we yell at him a lot, and he takes it. <laughs> yeah, he well, he's receptive, and um, he's actually working really hard within YouTube to yeah. change the structure and do. This is all stuff that we've talked at great length over the past two years since yeah. I've known him. And uh, but every time we get upset, changing. then we yell at him, and he's like, "Okay, keep it coming. I'm I'm learning. I'm, mm -hmm. I want to understand the issue." Yeah, and we're like, "No, you don't understand." Yeah. Well, one of the big problem, one of the big problems, a long time, a while ago, was we were talking about that the main problem here is there's there's no the incentive. There's you, we have to remove the incentive. Mm -hmm. Anyway, the point of bringing them up is just in short to say that you all actually can just thank me personally. <laughs> no, but I do hope that he gets a lot of credit. I'm sure he is. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, I don't know if he is because on one hand. I don't know if they how they see it, right? Like he's I hope they I hope he is. Yeah. He's got to be. The guy works his ass off. He's in there. He's the first person ever in YouTube that to, to actually listen and implement and try to, he's like I don't think anyone before him ever actually saw it from the creator's mm -hmm. side. You know? To their defense, they had a lot they always had a lot of shit to deal with, and maybe they're just at the point now where they can actually start working it from that angle mm -hmm. but um you're welcome everybody <laughs> and uh 
I, I always tell him if this doesn't work out, I'll be happy to to uh, take a senior senior office at YouTube. <laughs> they can hire me as a consultant. <sighs> so there you go. On the other hand, YouTube's being sued by LGBTQ plus plus. Did I get it, everyone? Lesbian, gay, bisexual, trans. What's the Q again? Queer. No, it's not queer. Yes, it is. Yes, it gay is. is gay is queer. No, no queer is queer. Nathan. What's the difference between gay and queer, Dan? Well, it's queer different. queer is more of a. Um, I, I guess you could say a catch-all for you know. Dude, I think you guys or, are uh, wrong. No, we're no, not. No, I'm not. <laughs> Dude, I think you. I think we're it's not. not queer. It is queer. Okay, hold on. I'm looking it up. <laughs> Ten is a. <laughs> Did I swear? Okay. What do you think it is then? Questioning. It stands for questioning their sexual identity. It's not queer, bro. Queer. Why would it be really? queer? Really? Queer just means gay, and also it's kind of a slur. Uh. Q stands for questioning, it's a bro. More, huh? more nuanced than that, but uh, maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the Q is questioning. I I always oh. thought it was queer. <laughs> questioning. <laughs> All right. All right, All right. You guys fucking All laughed right. in my face. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Lesbian guy. Oh, they got like a whole spectrum. I didn't. Why know is queer? Wow. Why do you think that it's a hold on? And on the wiki, to because... recognize inclusion, a popular variant adds the letter Q for those who identify as queer or are questioning. So it sounds like so we're both, both right. I don't think queer is a bad word. There's like this, that show queer, I queer up, eye something. I guess. I guess when I grew up, queer was kind of a slur. It it, it can be used as a slur because queer it, it's means sort of, weird. Uh, it means different, basically unusual. Wow, wow. queer, <laughs> strange, odd. But I, you you taught me something. I didn't know the questioning yeah. was was part of it. So there you go. Yeah, you see that, Dan. I have some credibility. Yeah. I don't. Have all, I haven't lost all my credibility yet. <laughs> I almost lost it on the fish cannon. <laughs> I like that. LGBT, LGBT. Well, wait. Where's the Q? The Q's not even here. Well, it's a it relatively was, recent. Yeah, it, it, it used to just be later. LGBT. The Q came later. See, but, I've seen but, some but, variants but then, that add like several more letters as well. It, it's getting a little long. Uh, okay, hold but on, I honest. think now it's officially LGBTQ plus, right? But I, I, that's the one I most okay, commonly hang see. Hang on, <laughs> queer just means gay, so Q has to mean questioning. There's no, it, it doesn't. It's, it's not queer. a useful a, a, a amendment. A uh, queer, it, it no, doesn't it's just both mean gay. Questioning and queer. Apparently. Okay, what does it mean more than gay? Uh, it's it's sort of a, again it's sort of an umbrella term. It, uh -huh. it can mean a lot of things: asexual, pansexual. Um, oh, you know, like it's just okay. kind of like hard to define, I guess. Yes, queer. Exactly. He's a bit queer. That's what you say back in the day. You'd be like, he's odd. He's an odd one. He's mm -hmm. a bit queer. Right. That's where it originally came from. He's a little bit. Uh, I think we should bring it back. I don't think it needs to be like a bad word. I like Queer. it. Queer. Yeah. Well, like you said, you, uh, it's it's been embraced. There's shows that, you know, self-identify. Queer eye. eye. But Queer like, as folk. I mean, I don't know. Queer seems synonymous with gay. Like, Queer Eye. You're talking about a bunch of gay dudes. In that case, In that that's case, true. yes. But I that's think the true. idea in the here is that it's the more, like, undefined kind of... Right. We need to get some LGBT cuties on. Uh, LGBTQ plus, and then the plus is just anyone else, right? Yes, pretty exactly. much. Which seems quite broad, because that includes me. Uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, so it doesn't include everyone else. What's the plus? Well, oh, so everybody, says, everybody that is in the uh... spectrum of sexuality and gender. So, right, everybody. So why don't they just shorten it to plus? Well, they do. Again, I I see a lot of variants on it. Sometimes they also include I, which is for intersex, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't think there's no there's no uh, there's no council. There's no board. That, there's uh, no board besides these things. There's no board of Ricks. Yeah, exactly. So. <laughs> okay, LGBTQI plus LGBTQ. Oh, and then maybe there is an I sometimes plus. Sometimes there's an I. Mm -hmm. Again, it, I just like the it's more. A long. I like the more. It's funnier the more so. LGBTQI plus. I'm surprised I can say that. LGBTQI plus. LGBTQI plus. LGBTQI plus. 
LGBTQIA, this one says. Yeah, I think the A is asexual. Well, didn't we get that in the plus? I mean, guys, don't be greedy. You got the plus. <laughs> right. All right. Where was I? Um, LGBTQI plus are suing YouTube. They are suing YouTube for being discriminatory. I guess the LGBTQI plus. <laughs> I get really good at saying that. <laughs> you want to see this? Here, they made an announcement video. They all. That's why. We they, they made a huge collaborative announcement video where, uh, well, let them explain it better than I could. Yeah. Um, but they filed a lawsuit against YouTube, officially. LGBTQI plus. Max, Google and YouTube's treatment of our LGBTQ plus community. Oh, she. No, I. <laughs> oh, she didn't say that's fucking so disclusive of her. <laughs> How the fuck could she not say I? Do you know what sucks? Google and YouTube's treatment of our LGBTQ plus community? LGBTQ plus. They flagged our pride. They did not allow us to buy ads. They restricted us. They demonetized us. And they did not stand up for us. And they broke their promise of a platform for free speech built off of <laughs> our backs. <laughs> then they blatantly discriminate against us. Admit that their algorithm is biased and promise to fix it. They lie. And still, they claim inclusion. And even when a march <laughs> so or a I understand them that you are not going to take them very seriously. <laughs> okay, sorry, 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 sorry. I'm going to go back. I won't fuck with it. <laughs> they blatantly discriminate against us. Admit that their algorithm is biased and promise to fix it. They lie. And still, they claim inclusion. And even when a march in our parades, yeah. how dare they? That is why how dare they? we, as a group, are it suing seem Google and YouTube. Hi, we are Bree and Chrissy from YouTube, and this is why we are suing Google and YouTube. Our LGBTQ plus content is being demonetized, restricted, and not sent out to viewers, which has highly affected our ability to reach the community that we strongly want to help. Hi, my name is Chase Ross with Uppercase Chase One on YouTube, and the reason why I'm suing Google and YouTube is because I'm fed up of the discrimination that we're getting in the LGBTQ community. YouTube is supposed to be a safe space for us. I don't feel safe at all. Things need to change. The algorithm needs to change. We need to stand together because we're more powerful in numbers. And honestly, standing here, watching our videos get demonetized, it's disheartening. It hurts. And it needs to end right now. Hi, so, I'm Lindsay Amer with Queer Kid Stuff on YouTube. I'm suing... So, I'm just thinking, coming off of our last episode, everything, no matter what we talked about, got demonetized mm -hmm. and mature rating and what mm -hmm. what whatever you want and I got it all. Mm -hmm. So I'm just thinking, I don't know if they're aware, but it's happening right now on everything. Yeah, that my first thought was that. Well, I certainly see it from their perspective of like. Yeah. I'm sh I am sure that like if you type in your. Uh, if you type in your title like gay or trans or something like that that YouTube will consider it like they'll be like oh yeah brands don't want to be associated with um controversial issues yeah why should this be a controversial I, I don't know why it should be a controversial issue right but again I'm not I, I would need to see specific details because I saw a clip that they showed and it showed the two gay girls making out and they're like this was demonetized and I'm like well you yeah that I mean so in that case, I, mm -hmm. I see why they would do that. Like but, if it was a straight couple making out, it, it yes. likely al also would yes. have been demonetized? Okay, yes. that's a fair point. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm like tuned in about, I feel like I always kind of have a spidey sense about what would be demonetized. Mm -hmm. If I did kissing, I would not, I would expect a yellow. Mm -hmm. They're just, it's gotten so bad. I mean, our last episode, just Our last everything. episode got creamed. It got a... All of our highlights, like... It got a really severe rating just because of the title. Because it has... I can't even say his name. Yeah. But... But even the Tumblr conversation. Yeah. It, it, it's really bad. Now... <coughs> when they... When they... Are they mistaking... Um, are they mistaking an increase in demonization as discrimination that's my question and it seems like it seems like probably yes because youtube is pretty 
LGBTQI yeah. plus friendly. That's, I mean, yeah, exactly. They uh, would have like, no reason to discriminate. Seeing what they care about, they always make it very clear that they're very, very what they put out. pro and supportive. So, And then another thing they have to understand is that, again, and this, this is something I always argue with them about, too, is that it's not YouTube. I mean, so they're talking about freedom of speech and stuff like that, and, uh, well... For, let's talk about demonetization. I mean, that's not to do with YouTube. Those are the brands. Right. Now, the, now, the systems that YouTube gives the brands is very obtuse. And the pre-check settings for, like, the standard really discludes a lot of content that I think should be included. But again, YouTube's being on the, on the, on the safe side I mean, because of all, the history. Yeah, it's all ever since the apocalypse. Yeah, so, you know... We all, Google and all of us, got a hard lesson and a difficult wake-up call. Now, when you go to the algorithm issue, I think they do have a, a point, and that's something that I'm grappling with YouTube, too. Is like, mm -hmm. So, for example, our last podcast, if you, they go, well, it's not appropriate for ads. I say, okay, fine. I don't even care about the ads. It's yellow. What I want to make sure is that my audience is getting the same exposure to that content, the same opportunity to watch it as all my other ones. Right. Because there are certain ratings that like, you can get, and YouTube has said this publicly, that you can get on a video that can suppress its views, and by suppress I mean... By like how age uh, appropriate it is, right? Depending on like the sensitivity of content yeah. that's in it, right? And when it's suppressed, it's that you don't get a notification when it goes not out. Not that. No, it's not that. Oh, it's no? stuff like showing up on your homepage because they mm -hmm. think, oh, if it shows up on your homepage, we want it to be age appropriate. That's a huge one. It might even be less recommendations on the sidebar. Mm -hmm. Now, those drive they a lot a of difference. traffic. And so, not, and so, let's say uh, if you've signed up and you've said you're See, I don't know. Like, I haven't even seen our new episode on my homepage, so I don't even know. But, yeah, they want your homepage to be uh, somewhat friendly. So, so in the case of our new podcast, we're seeing way less homepage and recommended hits. So, the same thing may well be happening to them. Now, it really is should be taken on a video-by-video video basis, because I find it hard to believe that... That there's any, you know, uh, direct, direct uh, attempt to censor or or mm -hmm. suppress. I feel like the problem is like, from their point of view, I can see that they f what they feel, and they probably feel like they have a case, you mm -hmm. know, because mm -hmm. they can just tag gay and then it's demonetized, which is insane. And they're a marginalized group, so they looking at it through that yeah. lens. But I think they need to remove the... It's like they're adding bad intention specifically towards them, which I really don't think is there on the YouTube side. I don't think anyone is targeting them as... There's no... I feel like there's no way. No way. Let us uh, finish watching, because Queer Kid's stuff here is about to pitch... pitch his reason why he's suing. Google and YouTube because from day one as an LGBTQ plus creator on YouTube, I face discrimination on a platform that touts its support of my community. For years, it's affected my mental health and my livelihood. I've suffered and I've watched I don't know firsthand what as my community about. of creators. She's complaining about comments? I mean, how is she being a... She's saying that her experience on YouTube is affecting her... Uh, yeah, I think um, from what I was reading about the lawsuit, um, you know, the denonization thing is the big headline thing, but it uh, it's also comes down to um, like harassing comments and an inability to. Uh, it, it, from what I understand, and you know this better than me, but um, you know, their suggested thing is to just turn off the comments, but turning off comments also suppresses you in the algorithm because the engagement is part of what That's drives. incorrect. That is incorrect. That is a misunderstanding. Okay. Well, I mean, that I'm, that was my understanding of the well, argument. Well, actually, it. I think they may have put that in the uh, complaint, but that is, and as they'll find quickly, as YouTube absolutely destroys this case, is that 
Comments, Com- have, nothing comments have nothing to do with have, driving have traffic. Absolutely no drive. Oh. It has no signals at all. So all those people that are always like, comment down below to help get this video yeah, out there. That, that they don't know what they're talking like, about. You know, I think at one point that may have been mm-hmm. true a long time ago. But even then, there was no proof ever that it does anything. Hmm. And I mean, well, look, PewDiePie for a long time had his comments disabled entirely. And his views, you can look, you can look back We're and doing see. Fine. Did there was no uh, there was no drop off in any way, but I mean I've but the, there that there's no correlation there, and I think that the blocking, the blacklisting tools are quite robust too. But when it comes to um, how this stuff affects you and mental health and, and all that, that I mean, we all go through that. It's not specific to to anyone as a group. You know, it's just that is just being on the internet, being on YouTube, looking at comment section anywhere, Reddit, right. whatever, Twitter. I'm I mean, just I'm not really sure what what to say because she's saying that she's on a platform that's supposed to protect them, but you're on a public platform that, by its definition. I mean, we all know what YouTube is, you know. Not really sure what you want done, you know. Has suffered. I mean, I hate to say, I hate to sound like uh, obtuse, but I think the answers you're looking for are probably within yourself. I mean, YouTube can't make you more resilient. No, I mean, what can they do? You have to make yourself more resilient. From uh, one of the articles, uh, the specific aside from monetary compensation, because they are suing for money, that's one of the things. But it's is also, there a number, by the way? No, not. Okay. I, I looked around to try and see how much they're suing for, it, and I guess that would probably be awarded by the court in some way. Well, they're both okay. outrageous. I saw a claim of loss <laughs> of monetary damages. Is that one of them apparently earned thirty five hundred a month, and now they earn four to five. Hundred. So, I mean, in terms of damages, I'm not really sure that you can even. I mean, that's a significant drop off. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know, but if but I wonder if that coincided YouTube, with the apocalypse where everybody's money dropped right. off to that degree. You know, I know you guys, your <laughs> ad revenue went way down after all that. Yeah, dude, so. we our ad red revenue, uh, our ad revenue dropped like literally ninety yeah, percent. Like for right. every dollar, we were making ten cents. So the other thing was that they want an injunction to stop YouTube from, quote, censoring, restricting, uh, restraining, or regulating speech based on discriminatory, uh, or discretionary use or application of discriminatory, animus-based, arbitrary, Whoa. vague, unspecified, what? or subjective criteria, which I think relates to the fact that they're saying that big LGBT uh, creators seem to be exempt from a lot of these problems. Oh, right, right, right. That wasn't right. their main... Right. Let, let me finish watching the video, because I think, sure. right, they, another one of their main points is that creators are unfairly, mm-hmm. unevenly treated. For a long time, I wondered why YouTube allows this to happen. It's simple. They don't care. They use That's our important true. content to feed their bottom line, and they simply just don't care about us. They don't care about the importance of our work. They don't care about our mental health, and they don't care about our. Or I mean, they care about you as much as they care about everyone else, which is really not that much because there's like a trillion people on YouTube. Right. I anyway, I got to stop pausing. Profits. It's high time that we call their bluff. It's time they pay for the damage they've done. Hi, I'm Amp Summers from What's the Safe Word on YouTube, and this is why I'm suing Google. Growing up, I was in a very religious household. I didn't get any sort of gay education, let alone queer education, that applied to me and the sex that I was going to have. I create content on the internet that I wish I would have had growing up, but we're finding it harder and harder to create content on this platform. Google and YouTube continue to censor us and tell us that we're not breaking any rules, but that our content is still not allowed and going to be restricted on this platform. Hi, I'm Salsa Dulé. And Salsa? I'm Cameron Steele. We're co-hosts of San Francisco's GlitterBombTV.com. And we're longtime creators on YouTube. We are suing Google and YouTube because of blatant discrimination against us as part of the LGBTQ plus community. And they refused us advertising because of the gay thing. <laughs> I don't Together, think they said we are that. The LGBT <laughs> plaintiffs in a class I don't think that's action a quote. lawsuit against Google and YouTube. We are not going to stand by any longer while our community gets dismissed, 
belittled, and discriminated against. You can help by sharing our video and our message. We're using the hashtags well, LGBTQ versus Google YouTube, hashtag don't be evil, hashtag be equal, or you can join the fight with us. For more information about our case, oh, they, or if you'd they like never to share a the similar part about, situation, well, anyway, it's they, not in the video. Yeah, here they say, they allege that higher profile creators get special treatment. They cite James Charles specifically in the complaint. Though they emphasize they don't blame Charles, they blame YouTube for applying the rules unevenly. They show a video of him, I think we watched it, of him at Coachella where he's wearing like, remember that outfit he was wearing where his ass is totally exposed? Mm -hmm. And spanking a woman's bare butt at Coachella. Now, I don't know why you think that video wasn't demonetized because I think there's a big chance that video was yellowed. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. A lot of the times my videos are yellow and other people, PewDiePie and all these huge creators, their videos yellow. Right. And you don't really, you can't assume that it's green. So these guys have the things in a lot of complaint and there's a lot of stuff I think that YouTube can easily dispute. Yeah. Um, by controlling an estimated 95% of the public video communication that occurs in the world, Google and YouTube wield unparalleled power and unfettered discretion to apply viewpoint based content policies in a way that permits them to pick winners and losers. Well, that's true. That's a, that's a whole anti-monopoly law. I mean... What is it? I don't understand. Well, they're saying they, they, they control 95% of the public video consumption that occurs around the world. I mean, sure. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to argue with that. That's definitely, you know... It's really interesting, too, because, I mean, that whole point that they're making, you hear all the time from conservative YouTubers as well, um, you know, on the other end of the spectrum, saying that they're being discriminated against because of their viewpoints. Right. That's the truth. It, you're right. Well, I think, I think ultimately they're all mistaking um, common, like, what's, what's the common reality for every YouTuber as discrimination mm -hmm. towards their group. Yeah, you know, there's a there's a, a left leaning YouTuber that I that I know of, Pac, uh, David Pacman, and there's not a lot of left leaning. I don't know. Oh, I guess there's the Turkish guys, whatever the Young Turks. But this but this guy is just a, a lone operation, just one dude, and he all the time was getting fucked. Mm -hmm. His channel was yellow, unmonetized. He was complaining all the time about it. So I mean, I just don't think that, that there's any. I think that's just a, a fallacy. Everyone's getting fucked. Washington Post uh, uh, reported earlier this month that moderators for YouTube are trained to treat the most popular video producers differently than others by, for instance, allowing hate speech to remain on the site. No way. While enforcing their policies more string stringently against creators with fewer followers, YouTube denies this claim. I'll clarify this. The real truth is they don't apply the rules differently it's just that big creators like myself have a direct communication with people at YouTube. So instead of a machine making a distinction because they have a trillion videos uploaded every day, a human can make the distinction and make more nuanced decisions for you. Mm -hmm. And that makes sense. Look, yeah. if you have, if you're getting 500 views a video, God bless you, but YouTube does not have the resources to to be involved with that many people. Yeah. I mean, that's why they have these powerful algorithms. It's the only possible way that YouTube could exist in the way it does. And so, someone like me, I can say, hey, uh, you know, take a look at this video. And they can make that nuanced decision that a machine can't. Mm -hmm. But it makes sense. I mean, come on. Who, who are you kidding, right? I mean, that makes sense. I mean, even us, we went on for most of our time on YouTube without any contact there, you know? Dude, that was like a recent development. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much until we met this guy we were talking about two years ago when we were at Creator Summit. Mm -hmm. Up until then, we didn't have anyone. Yeah. You know? Knowing y YouTube and everyone that we've met there, they definitely don't have bad intentions. No way. It's There's no way. Uh, in addition to monetary compensation, the lawsuit is also asking the court to order an injunction that would stop YouTube from censoring, restriction, restraining, or regulating speech based on the discretionary use or application of discretionary 
animus-based, arbitrary, capricious, vague, unspecified, or subjective criteria rules. What the fuck are you I talking about? I mean, they're about? already, like, contradicting themselves. Yeah. They're, on Who's... one hand, they want YouTube to protect free speech, and on the other hand, they're upset that YouTube is not doing anything about hateful speech. But it's like, how are you going to exactly decide what's hateful speech and expect them to take it down so easily when, you know, things are really hard to define? They expect perfection. It's like, dude, there's, like... A, there's so much combat and there's so much videos and there's so many people on YouTube. It's just a wild, feral place. That's why they have these powerful algorithms to try to make it more civilized. But hello, I mean, it's YouTube. It's the Wild West, you know? Shit. But I'm just... Yeah, I mean, it's interesting that they're actually suing YouTube, but I'm fairly certain that YouTube is going to Come on, dude. YouTube I don't is think gonna there is really watch you, bro. Yeah. Even if they did have a more strong case, I think their their case is extraordinarily weak. Um, now I'm not saying I disagree with their point of view and that I just don't sympathize with them. Right. I'm just saying from a legal standpoint, their case is like air. And you're going against one of the most powerful organizations that has ever existed. That have lawyers falling out of their fucking pockets. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's a that's a big enemy to take on. Yeah. Um, but it's interesting. Mm -hmm. I, but I think you know. I think the only thing out of all of this that you know, if it is true, I could see them having a point and would hope that YouTube would do something about it. Is if they're really just blanket getting demonetized for just having a tag like gay in the video or the title, I mean, that, that is, that's over the top. Like, you know, if it really is happening instantly, like you, you upload a video, you put that in the tag and just immediately demonetize. Right. I agree that, I agree that's, with not that. Really fair. that that's a difficult situation. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure YouTube has already looked into that because I know that there's been a lot of complaints about, I mean, hmm, gay, just the word gay. Yeah, I could see that getting, going yellow. If I made a, if I said in, if I made a video and I, and I said, I'm coming out as gay or whatever, I would be concerned with my spidey sense, and I'm pretty accurate that that would go yellow. So that is a problem, you know? But, so, but yeah, it's tough. I mean, it's tough. This happens a lot, by the way, when I say Jew or Israel or anything like that, it goes yellow. Hmm. Isn't that fucked up? Yeah. Yeah. Like, all of my old videos that say Jew or anything like that, yellow. Because they see it. They are viewing it. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Jew is considered. Any conversation around Jew is considered. <laughs> it's touching. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, how did they call it? Sense, uh, Sens sensitive. Sensitive. Well, yeah. and it's and it's probably because of the algorithm, right? Because they've detected lots of you know anti-Semitic videos. Uh, yeah, and that I mean use that term and exactly. Then, or or, or they they don't, they also don't monetize religious stuff. Anything that has to do with religion. Right, right, right. So it's like whammy, whammy, bammy. But if you make a video that said, I'm coming out as gay. I don't know. My we boyfriend were... is gay. Something's gay. Um, I would say 50-50 on that. You can dispute, though. And I'm pretty sure on dispute. The problem with the dispute process is by the time it gets resolved, most all of your views, all, most of your monetized views have already come and gone. Mm. But it's just, I mean, it's really tough. You know, it's really tough. Because say, I mean, how how's the algorithm supposed to know the difference between someone who's using it in a derogatory way? And then, then, then they're making a video about derogatory about gay people, and then advertisers find out that their ads were on that video. It's that's a why tough I was spot. saying, that's why on one hand they're complaining about freedom of speech and on the other about hate speech being not removed. Well, so let me, that is the problem. Let me clarify their you... argument. There is absolutely no free speech issue at hand here. Their videos are allowed up. Right. They are not removed. They are not age restricted as far as I can tell. Their free speech is not being impeded in any way. Um, Being able to monetize, that's a different story. There is an argument to be made, though, about, like, removing the incentive to 
to monetize. Discouraging. It could, could, could discourage uh, certain kinds of speech, you know. Yeah. But I don't know. It's a tough situation, you know. I don't know. I mean, I understand that. I understand their 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 anger, but I don't know. You know, I mean, ultimately, sometimes it's really just wow. what can you do? Don't be evil. Be equal. L B L G B T Q versus Google YouTube. Why'd they do Google YouTube? They made that unnecessarily long. Uh-huh. LG, LGBTQ versus YouTube. Why Google YouTube? I think they just want to get as many people worried as they can over it. You know, the corporate world. Just a lot to type. I don't see many people going out there and typing that. We got more. We got more uh, TV guy. You see, this shit is a weird one. Man with TV on his head, going around leaving old television on porches. Over 60 TVs so far. Now, many people I've heard say that they think this is kind of charming or he's not harming anyone. I personally think it's one of the creepiest things I've ever seen. You need to adjust that dial. You are, in fact, seeing a person with a TV set on their head, laying an older set on someone's front porch, and just walking off. He wants to be known as the TV Santa Claus. I, I don't know. The bizarre discovery <laughs> happened Sunday morning in Henrico's Hampshire neighborhood. Outdated more like TV boxes Freddy Krueger. More than 50 <laughs> homes. We got an old tube-style TV, 13-inch. I thought my son brought it home but apparently not. They had way too much time on their hands if they had all these TVs and spread them out all over, you know, all over the neighborhood. <laughs> I love this is what the police are doing now. They have security camera video this guy, like man. this from multiple neighbors, but think it's only a prank targeting no one in particular. I think you've been marked for murder, dude. more of an inconvenience to the community. Officers and county workers spent Sunday morning picking up the old units and hauling them away. I could this being some art student. Did a great job yeah, coming exactly. up and collecting them all. I think it's this is the second student. time the TV set mystery played out in Glen Allen. The same thing happened in a different neighborhood last August. Timing that's not lost on some. I think it's just a prank. Some college students who are just bored. It's summer and, and people are getting, getting, prank, getting ready to go back to school. Maybe TV man was... Uh, uh, he was just ready to strike to, to put a little humor into our lives. In the absence of knowing the brains inside the box... I don't know, that's... What is, what is he trying to prove? These homeowners all left these only to guess what it all means. TVs. Get up, stay away from the screens. <laughs> I don't know. Why do people do anything? People are weird. <laughs> Bro, it's all fun and games until these people start showing up dead. You know how they're gonna die? No. He's gonna smash their head into the TV. And then they're gonna find their body on the bed or something with the TV on their head dressed like him And he's gonna dress him in the same suit and shit You're watching too many movies. I'm telling you dude. That shit's real. I just watched the uh, documentary about Who's that guy that they just caught? Oh, the um The, the Golden, State, Golden Killer. State Killer Yeah, man, that's something he would do <laughs> I'm telling you I got more footage of this guy. I'm not kidding around. TV head strikes again. This shit's frightening. I don't find it scary. Really? Watch this one. <laughs> the idea of anyone approaching my house at night is like... Well, spooky. I find it more spooky if it's just a here, guy. Here. I like, <laughs> less spooky if he has a TV on his head. Dude, your ring goes off at 2 a.m. And you see this. Yeah, that's pretty creepy. Then he waves, by the way. Oh, God. Yeah, that guy's coming to put your head in one of those TVs. <laughs> Guarantee it. How do you guys feel about that? Uh, it's just, it's creepy. Like, isn't that TV heavy on his head? It's hollowed out. It's just, it's just beyond creepy. It's gotta creepy, be. Yeah. It looks really... <laughs> anyway... Oh, oddly terrifying. There you go. Mm-hmm. 
What's going on back there? Can I hear talking? Yeah. Package? Yes, package just arrived. Sorry. <laughs> uh, so that's TV guy, you know? It's all fun and games Weird. until heads start ending up in TV screens. That Golden State Killer one was fucking crazy, man. Oh my god. You got it. Where was that on Netflix or? I think so. So. The Golden State Killer, this, you, first of all, the, the Netflix documentary is really good. This guy was one of the most prolific uh, criminals in the United States history. And then the, the best part is that a couple of years ago, this guy went uncaught after like, For like 50 years committing ago. so many heinous crimes. I mean, the worst like crimes you can imagine. Don't even say it because we'll get demonetized. Stuff. 50 really bad things. <laughs> YouTube sends me a report back. They go, oh, you mentioned uh, this at this minute in a two hour long podcast. So <laughs> age restricted. Yeah. Um, but they caught him because they had his DNA sample. And then somebody put it in like Ancestry.com, matched DNA to some distant cousin. And then from that, that was the only lead they ever had on him. And the technology just caught up with this mm -hmm. guy. And then they started questioning the family and closing in. And once they found out this guy's like third cousin or whatever, then they, they eventually found the guy. He was an ex-cop. Because the whole time this guy was evading arrest and they're like, they started to think, is this guy a cop? Is he military? How does he know? He was an ex-cop. And he had a wife and kids, right? He had a wife and da and two daughters. And he was like, uh, his victims were all females. It's so much like Dexter. It's crazy. Yeah, no, it's amazing. They certainly modeled that show after all these cases when they wrote that character. Mm -hmm. But man, that was a good show. What, what was that documentary called? Something about the Golden State Killer. Fascinating stuff. That guy and I up. think then they caught him like a year after the documentary came out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I, in part because of the documentary, probably. probably. Renewed interest, eh? Anyway, that's TV guy on his head, so watch out. Uh, we're, we're, hopefully this I'm didn't happen anywhere near me, because that guy's just a moment away from killing people. It's the Golden State Killer. It's not over, is what it's called. Hmm. I wanted your guys' take on this Chris uh, Como. Como? On CNN, he's an anchor on CNN. Kumo. Kumo. Someone, someone went up to him and called him Fredo, which is the bitch brother from Godfathers that uh, goes against the family and is assassinated. Okay. And so he's an Italian man, and pe and and so people that don't like him, conservatives usually, call him Fredo as an insult. Well, this one person did in a video. I don't know that people did Yes, that. well, that's the story. He says in the video, too. That's why he's so touchy about it. They always call him Fredo. According to him, I mean. It's, it's, it's not. Hmm. He's, he's Fredo. People call him Fredo. Well, anyway, he's at dinner with his, uh... He's at dinner with his family, his children, his wife. And here is the conference... Com Confrontation, and I'm curious what you guys think about about uh, his reaction. I thought, that, I, thought, I thought that's who you were. No, oh, punk ass bitches from the right call me Fredo. My name is Chris Cuomo. I'm an anchor on CNN. Oh, you must. Fredo is from the Godfather. He was that weak brother. Isn't that your? And they use it as an Italian aspersion. Any of you Italian? Oh, Are you Italian? I gotta, I gotta it's a fucking insult to your people. It's an insult to your fucking people. It's like the N-word for us. Wow. So is, that, is that a cool fucking thing? You're a much more reasonable guy in person than you seem to be on television. Yeah, but if you want to play, then we'll fucking play. If you've got Why something not? you want to say about what I do on television, then say it. But I'm going to fall to you. Hey, man, insult. hey, listen. What? what? I don't want any problems. Bro. Yeah, you're going to have a big fucking problem. What's the problem? It's a little different on TV. What's don't what's fucking problem? insult me like What's that. I, I didn't insult you. Yeah, fuck you call me Fredo. It's like I call you punk bitch. You like that? You want well, that to be your nickname? I, I didn't call you that. I you called me Fredo. I you know my name's not fucking Fredo. I thought your name was. You did not think my name was fucking Fredo. Don't be a liar. I thought you want to be a man. Stand up like a man. I'm standing up, man. I want to be a man out here. I love how Italian he got. Can almost 
what you said. Hey, get on what you said. Listen, take him out. What's wrong with you? Yeah, you're gonna have a fucking problem. What? What are you gonna do about it? I'll fucking ruin your shit. I'll fucking throw you down these stairs like a fucking punk. Please do. Why? So you can fucking sue? You don't want to. So you can fucking sue? Well, why don't you do it? Go take a swing. You gonna call me Fredo? Take a fucking swing. Take a fucking swing. Watch your fucking hands. Take a swing. Watch your fucking hands. Take a swing. No, no, come on, boy. Come on, boy. So you wanna call me shit? Call me shit. Hey, listen, man. I'm right fucking here. I'll fucking wreck your shit. I'll fucking wreck your shit. Stop. You didn't, yeah, you you that, you didn't know what you were doing when I you thought it was Fredo? your name. Man. Break it up now. I thought it was your name. You didn't Break know, up. right? Break hey, up. you didn't know what you were saying, right? I thought it was his You're name. So name. I'm breaking it up. I'm breaking it up. This is my buddy. Hey, look at all these cameras. You're in for it. Okay, well, let's break this down. First of all, the context is important because his friend is secretly recording the altercation. He kind of bitched out when he got called out because he's like, I thought it was your name. Meanwhile, his friend is secretly recording him because he knew they knew that they were getting the jump out of him. Okay. Um, do you think Fredo is an ethnic slur for Italians? That's kind of a fun <laughs> on argument. the level of the N word. <laughs> yeah. That's no. no. Imagine no. <laughs> imagine you're the bar of of racial injustice is from the Godfather. <laughs> It's from a movie about Italian gangsters. And even if you're using it as to disparage somebody, it's not like an <laughs> ethnic thing, you know? It's like, it's about what that character is in the context of the story. I guess he's, yeah. well, I guess he's Italian and... Right, I he took it there, but... <laughs> right, exactly. I, you'll have a problem, I'll throw you... So, I don't know, what do you think? Because uh, there's been people on both sides, people are saying... Como has tweeted previously that Fre Fredo was an ethnic slur last year. And when someone told, called him Fredo, this is, let's see. This is from... I just don't get his reaction. Seems very... He's very touchy about it. I mean, it seems pretty unstable for... He goes... For someone who's on the okay. TV every day, but you gotta be prepared for people coming at you with stupid whatever. Good point. Getting all imagine aggressive. from his, imagine from his perspective, it's on a daily basis. He's out with his family. He signed hey, up Fredo. for it. Hey, Fredo. Okay, good point. I mean, that's a fair point. He's on the news every day. That's a very fair point. Hey, Fredo. Just I don't, I don't see. I think what would have been better is he needs to think of a really slick, like, uh, retort. You know. Hey, Fredo. Hey, I'm gonna throw you down a fucking flight of stairs. You hear me? That's what gets me too. Is it's like he's upset about it, Italian stereotype. So he starts acting like the most <laughs> yeah, stereotypical, yeah, yeah. like <laughs> fucking I've, Jersey man. Italian dude possible. It's funny because yeah. I've seen that guy's show. He doesn't sound like that. No, no. not at all. You want to go to the flight down the stairs? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he like turned into Ethan Bradbury all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, he, he last year said no. Someone said, okay, we notice when Fredo gets testy. They said that to him. No reason to use bigoted references to be critical. I can be wrong, stupid. Lots of prerogative designations, but I take that uh, as an Italian slur because it is. It's from the fucking Godfather. That makes you a bigoted fool. Here's a rule. Don't be a bigot. Try to follow it. I don't know about that, man. It's the Godfather. I don't get, I don't get it, this whole I vibe. Think, I think the Godfather is a far cry from... From s hundreds of years of s slavery, <laughs> I think it's kind of a ballsy thing. <laughs> That's play. the other thing too. Yeah, yeah, like, come on. The N word. It's it's not comparable, dude. Please. It's, it's from the it's the movie. <laughs> I was just surprised that his reaction so not classy. Jesus. Yeah, I was surprised too. I think you're. I think you're right. He's got to hold his shit together. Um, he apologized. <laughs> but you know what surprised me? People on the on the right side were were defending him. For example, let's see here. It didn't even, like, Sean Hannity. Sean Hannity yeah. said, oh, here it is. Dude, everything's a Twitter link. Everything happens on Twitter these days. It's unbelievable. <laughs> I say, good for Chris, Sean Hannity said. He's out with his nine-year-old daughter, his wife, and the guys being a jackass in front of his family, in my opinion. So this is how you behave to show example for your daughter? I think Chris The way you act is you walk away. Exactly. You let the guy be a douche and you walk away. I certainly wouldn't want to get that uh, excited in front of my family. 
In my opinion, Chris has zero to apologize for. He deserves the apology. I think the best way would be like, dude, have some respect. I'm here with my family. Exactly. You know, and you walk embarrass away. it, humiliate the guy. It's like, dude, I'm here with my family. Have some respect. That's it. And then you make the other person look stupid and feel bad. Totally. Instead, you puff out your chest and threaten to throw him down the stairs. It's just, just makes everybody in that video seem like an idiot. I'm perplexed yeah. you know? by Sean Hannity's d- defense of him. That was surprising to, to see. To be frank. <laughs> I'm just I'm blown away by that. You know, um, oh, wait, let's read his apology. And then Trump, of course, weighed in, which we must address. Um, appreciate all the support is, but truth is, I should be better than the guys baiting me. This happens all the time these days, often in front of my family. But there is a lesson. No need to add to the ugliness. I should be better than what I post. That's a good apology. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's fair. I think that's a great... I think that is as good of an apology as one can make, actually. Mm-hmm. You know, Fredo, you're Fredo. You you solidified yourself as Fredo forever in that right clip. with that reaction. But now everybody like Trump <laughs> is calling him Fredo now. Oh yeah, yeah. Here's Trump's sweet. I thought this was interesting because he said, uh, "I thought Chris was Fredo." Also, the truth hurts. Totally lost it. Low rating CNN. <laughs> but then he goes. Oh my god. He goes, uh, would Chris Kimono be given a red flag Not for his- Kimono. I don't know the fuck. He's, what do you, how do you say that? Cuomo. Cuomo. He's got this Italian shit. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. What is he talking about, red flag? Is that a thing? Because I saw people arguing is, about. Yeah, the red flag it's laws are. It's a what, weapon. Yeah, about, uh, gun restrictions. Okay, okay. So he says, uh,. Filthy language and a total loss of control. He shouldn't be allowed to have any weapons. He's not. So I was like, oh my god, is this Trump supporting gun control? <laughs> well, after the incident a couple weeks ago, he seems more open to it. Mm. I don't know if that's ever going to go anywhere. but Well, there you have it. He supports gun control. <laughs> Only in the specific case of Chris Cuomo. <laughs> Cuomo. Cuomo? Mm-hmm. So... There you have it. Fredo is a racial slur. That fucking Apparently. Trump tweet, man. It's and you know, hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I know about the. <laughs> He's just. I such thought a his troll. name was Fredo it's, too. It's just like love him or hate him, his politics. You, you gotta credit him. His Twitter game, his Twitter insult game, is pretty <laughs> hilarious. That's why he's president. Yeah. <laughs> Become being a bomb ass tweeter actually can get you to be president in these days. <laughs> He doesn't know anything about policy. Yes, but have you seen his tweets? <laughs> They're bomb. You know, um... Trying to make a joke about how, like, uh... A Jewish character is a slur. There's already so many Jewish slurs, though. I don't need to make those up. Mm. What is a good Jewish character that could be, like, comparable? To... to Fredo? Yeah. Hmm. Larry David. <laughs> Larry David. Larry <laughs> David, that's a compliment. That's an ethnic slur. <laughs> Costanza. Costanza? Yeah. Don't, hey, Costanza is a Jewish slur. Guys, watch, Ela, watch this. You're, veg- you're vegetable oriented, so what do you think about Arby's? They said, hey, look, they can make meat from veggies, then we can make veggies from meat. Okay. Introducing. The merit, and of course it's Arby's, the most disgusting, <laughs> filth-ridden meat factory on the planet. You're going to want to eat this, you like, guarantee it. What happened to the sound? I turned it off because uh, oh. oh, I think okay. it might get Good, straight. good, good. Looks like a carrot. Oh, God, what is this? <laughs> Ew. Yeah, doesn't that look just like a carrot? Ew. So here we go. Pucker up, you look. Get Turkey? hungry. Why would you want that? See, that's why... Why would they go through all this? I'm I'm assuming it's a joke, but right, Dan. I mean, I think they're they're making a push back against how all these fast food restaurants are getting the Beyond Meat. But this they're is they're making real a push back. What's your problem? Well, because the, it's Arby's. They're all about the meat. Ugh. But that's not a real product. I hope not. That's not. That, that looks not awful. Real. But then when you cut it open, it just looks like a hot dog. 
you know. Oh my god, it's so gross. So leave what? it to our. We have the vegetables. Med- yeah, the, pr- the problem is that is that it's still meat, dude. It's not healthier. God, all these brands think they have a sense of humor. I know, it's the worst, isn't it? Fucking hate them. I will I will pledge to you right now that I will never eat at Arby's or take anyone I know to Arby's for any reason whatsoever. <laughs> I, this is my pledge to you after watching that merit <laughs> video. <laughs> I would eat it. Zach, you really need to get your fucking brain checked, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You would eat that? Hell yeah. I would try it. What is their <laughs> yeah, cause? Right? They're going again against veggie burgers? Really? You got nothing else to worry about? Right. A lot of people, you know, because the, the Beyond Burgers, they <laughs> I they see you downvoted like... this, Dan. <laughs> 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 Good. Nice. Good job. <laughs> yeah. You got to be, like, intrigued to try it, though. No, it no. looks... Dude, I know that tastes like shit, bro. Come on. It's... It's... And it was seasoned in carrot flakes on top of it. Like, can you imagine a worse flavor for chicken? <laughs> was it you, carrot flakes? I thought Is that, that what was breadcrumbs. No, it, yeah, no. I I'll show you. It was it was like carrot flakes. It yeah. Here, this dried carrot juice powder. Yeah, you're right. Mm. That's you know stupid. <laughs> But the thing, so the thing is, why it doesn't make any sense, and I don't even know why I'm arguing, because <laughs> I think it obviously doesn't make sense. But you have a hamburger, which is a delicious thing that people want to enjoy, but people don't eat it because it has meat, and they object to eating meat for various reasons. Now, the problem with this is that these same people can eat, everyone can already eat a carrot. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> We're all already can eat a carrot. And the people that are vegetarians are not going to eat this carrot. No one is eating this carrot. Because it's not except it's Zach. meat. It's actually meat. There's literally no target demographic for this meat carrot. The burger makes sense. People want the burger. The- yeah, I think that they're just try- they're trying to stake themselves out as, you know... A meat defender, so to speak. They feel they feel accosted by all these Beyond Burgers showing up. That's at insane. Jr. And they need to just shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's viral marketing, and I think they're winning. Except we did just show it. So. Here, here's there the problem go. with viral marketing, at least in this case, they haven't given me any uh, interest in going to their restaurant. I mean, dude, is this what you want to? Is this what you want to invoke? When I think Arby's, you want me to think about this? <laughs> this fucking orange hot dog bullshit. I mean, dude, they can't even make Arby's look good in the commercials, bro. They have these new commercials yeah. on TV. Yeah. Oh my they god. They go, we have the meats, a new bread with Hawaiian bread, and it's literally it just looks a awful. cut. It's just a disgusting cut of lunch meat. It's disgusting. They can't make it look good. Yeah, they have this commercial that I see all the time, and I'm just like this. Doesn't look good. Well, someone's going to Arby's. Zach. Who is going to Arby's? That's Zach. We're right here, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what do you get from Arby's, Zach? Uh, double beef and cheddar. A little horsey sauce. Excuse me? Yeah. <laughs> what is that? Horsey <laughs> sauce? Horsey sauce? Horse semen? <laughs> horse semen? It's like a horseradish <laughs> and like... Oh, horseradish. Do they make okay, you okay. say horsey sauce? Yeah, it's called horsey sauce. That's <laughs> <been> humiliating. <laughs> I can't believe Arby's is still in business after. Dude, I did you know. wa- did you watch a lot of Simpsons after growing what? up? Because because in the the early era of the Simpsons, the Arby's was like their go to to shit on the uh, on oh, that show. Yeah. They used to just fucking make out Arby's to be so disgusting all the time as a running joke. <laughs> I don't remember that. <laughs> yeah, and I mean that even when I was growing up, I ate meat, and I never want to go to Arby's because it's just like. I think my mind was poisoned by all these references well, on The Simpsons. And all of Ventura growing up, a town of 200,000 people, there was one Arby's that sat so pathetic and lonely. And it was always there. It always hung through. But you always expect it to close. It's still open to this day. And I just don't know how Arby's has continued to claw its way you yeah. know, into... The high school I went to had an Arby's across the street um, as well as a Taco Bell. And 
without fail, the Arby's. I never saw anybody yeah. in that fucking mm-hmm. Arby's ever. <laughs> and these are like hungry ass high school students. Mm-hmm. Oh, you can't. Taco Bell was packed all the time. I Nobody never had Arby's. Arby's. I never. think keep it that I, way. I, I, I hate to say this. But I think Arby's was reserved for the m- only the most white trash people on the planet. <laughs> like you, like you have to be the whitest trash ever. Where you, where you take a bite of this Arby's <laughs> like sandwich, Zach. Zach. I don't know what you are, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but you have to look at this sandwich. Let me pull up an image for you guys. Arby's new sandwich, and this has to look like a gourmet sandwich for you. Okay. Is it the food of the scooter niche? Might be, actually. So these actually, this isn't the ones they show in the commercial. The ones they show in the commercials is just like literally meat and bread. Here are these. Look at this. It's, it's just, it's just. Meat, bread, and a slice of cheese. Meat. <laughs> like they can't even make it look good. <laughs> I've seen, there's a worse looking commercial right now. I've seen something that looks worse. Well, here, this is their classic. <laughs> I mean, look at this. That's I've, the iconic one. Have you ever seen a more pathetic looking sandwich? <laughs> oh, well, look at this, Sila, for the hungry one. Oh, my God. Look at this. What the fuck is that? <laughs> looks like bologna. I mean, you have to be white trash down to the bone. You have to be drunk. Maybe that's it. Maybe they're kept afloat by being You have to be drunk, drunk to people. eat this. That's not enough. They have primetime commercials. Dude, I can't get enough of this. <laughs> Look at this thing. <laughs> Looks like bologna. Have you ever tried one? Yes, Zach. It's been a long time, though. <laughs> so maybe you need to give it another shot. I already pledged never to. I mean, I... Yeah, he swore. Okay, here, here's, here's a real here. picture of what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, Hila. That looks more like oh. Arby's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. No, that's a sad sight. <laughs> 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 Ew. Here. I mean, that's real. That's what it looks like, right, Zach? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's not a... That's not a... Yeah. Meat flaps, baby. <laughs> no. Here, I mean, this is what it is. Eli, Seriously, look. Arby's need to shut up. They need to be happy Eli, that they got business. You gotta look at this. And don't push it. Where are you looking? I'm, lo- I'm trying to find the one oh. that I see on TV <laughs> oh, okay. all the time that but looks I, I, awful. I just want you to reference this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is them trying to make it look good. <laughs> I mean, just go to a deli if you want a roast beef sandwich that bad. You know? Absolutely. It's way better options. Anyway. So everyone's running out. So finally, did you find it, Eli? Do you want to keep looking? No, it's fine. Yeah. You get the idea. It's just like there's one that's like super saucy. And it's just like this saucy meat and bread on top and bottom. Arby's saucy. It looks awful. Sandwich. Looks like radioactive. Like the color of it is like neon, really? orange. I don't want to call that. <laughs> like this? No. No. Neon orange. I'll take a picture when it's on TV next time. I see a I lot see of Arby's commercials lately, man. Those guys are, those guys are pushing hard. They're on blitz. Yeah. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this fucking thing, dude. Oh. Zach, would you eat this? Probably not, no. You wouldn't eat that one. Um, Look at actually... this one. Look how they prepared it. <laughs> it looks gross. <laughs> Does that look good, Zach? You know what? I'd eat it. Yeah, I I mean, really? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh, the he- the he- it says the healthy... Beef and cheddar, that's probably what you're looking for. Me? No. Beef? It's gotta be beef. It's like some saucy, like buffalo kind of thing. Oh, no. It's like covered with sauce. <laughs> okay. Uh, buffalo. Dude, no. look at this. I can't get over these Where real pictures. <laughs> Dude, you cannot make that look good. I just can't believe that they have the... Shout out to, uh... They gotta go against companies who are making a vegetarian option. What's your problem? Yeah, don't piss Hila off with that shit. She'll fuck your whole life up, dude. She's gonna find these buffalo cheesy sandwiches (laughs) and make you wish you never made that thing. Look at this. Who wants a bite? 
Zach, tell me you would eat that. It's kind of like, here, what's that little one with sauce? It literally looks rotten. It looks like it's been like sitting out in the sun. Yeah. To the left, with your mouth left up. Kind of like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like okay, that. Yeah, it was like a slider. <laughs> oh, that's it, the buffalo chicken slider. <laughs> they get a commercial it looks for like that. A and it looks <laughs> so awful. <laughs> it looks like it looks a like joke. It looks like a used tampon between bread. It seriously looks like a joke. <laughs> Hold on, buffalo chicken slider. Let's look it up. Then. Hold on. Buffalo chicken slider. Yeah, this is gonna be good. No, what is Why do these all- That looks different. Yeah, yeah, what the fuck? Damn. Well, that actually- That's no. not Arby's. Just for the record, this sandwich that looks decent is not Arby's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need to write Arby's, that's why, idiot. <laughs> Dumbass Ethan. Okay. <laughs> make your, take gone? your pick. <laughs> yeah. Th- <laughs> <laughs> what is this? This. What is this? <laughs> Dude, that's like a cream pie. <laughs> but they made, they clearly like made super Photoshop to it and it's all glossy and like really this, shiny. This one? I don't think you can beat this one. Yeah, it's kind of like this. You can't beat that one. <laughs> I wonder how many people are going to Arby's right now. <laughs> Just, you can find a better meal, man. <laughs> To be fair to the marketing department, we're talking about Arby's for 20 minutes now. But it's not flattering. So, so. I don't know if this helps or it's, I guess probably. All publicity is good publicity. The truth is, right? people who hate Arby's hate Arby's, and people who are like Arby's are going to want to eat They're it. They're going and, right now. Whatever. I got my goofs out on this disgusting <laughs> period blood. Go enjoy your used tampon between bread. I will. Yeah. And then finally, we're going to end it off on a high note. Ian has to pee has become a cherished meme within the H three community, (laughs) and somebody made a comment that actually got four thousand points. So this is a popular thing. Goes, they're in outer space. They made it to like God or something. Says, welcome to the center of the universe, inferior life forms. You have the right to one question only. And now the astronauts talk amongst themselves. They say, well, naturally, we should ask about the nature of life itself and human existence, right? I don't know. Perhaps it's best to ask about the future. What do you think, Ian? Ian? And they turn around. And then Ian has already wasted the question. (laughs) And God has answered. The toilet is down the hall to the right. (laughs) I gotta pee so bad. (laughs) Very good. H3 Nation. Warriors. Well, I had a lot of fun. We had lots of laughs. We had lots of gaffes and goofs. Ian, are you holding it? I got a piece so Ian, bad. Ian, just hold on. The show, we're about I to end the show right so now. Bad. Ian, you don't have to keep interrupting me. It's, we're, we're literally ending the show. I got a piece so bad. It's just rude. Me too, by the way. It's just rude that you keep interrupting no, me. No, sorry, your mic's turned off. Sorry, Ian. I got a piece so bad. <laughs> oh, I'll turn it back so on. Bad. I want to hear what he's saying. Right, right, go ahead. <laughs> I want the record to show that I'm the so only bad. one that hasn't gone to the bathroom today in this office. Yeah, you're trying to make a point. We get it. I'm really thirsty so and bad. I'm not gonna drink anything. <laughs> but do you have to so bad? Do you have to pee, Ian? I gotta pee so bad. Don't mute his mic. Wait, why is he muted? <laughs> no, I agree. Don't mute his mic. Uh, I want to hear no. what he's saying. <laughs> no, Ian, come back. I no, Dan, I forbid no you mute. from muting All right, his, his, his mic. mic's open. He he he's got the control. See, now you ruined the no moment because I wanted to hear from Ian. We never get to hear from Ian. Freedom of speech, Dan. Dan, I am, I am you infringed, infringed on, his, on his freedom. Ian, I, I pledge to you that no one will mute your mic again. It's open. He could talk. This what is were you his saying? Choice. My Go mic ahead. is open, but my soul is closed. Uh, uh, fair enough. I got to pee so bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we better wrap this up because Ian has to pee. Um, guys, thank you so much. For watching, for coming along, for goofing along, please go watch our previous episode uh, because mm-hmm. apparently YouTube didn't show it to anyone. I you don't even have to watch it; just leave it on in the background. Just click just it click and it. refresh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and that's it, folks. That's all, folks. I got a piece so bad. You look quick. Who was the um? Who, who, what was the Emancipation Proclamation? The Freedom of Slavery? That's correct. Got it! Exactly right. 
Ela, uh, what year was the uh, 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 the Declaration of Independence signed? Is it something like seventeen sixty-seven? Something with those 1776. numbers. Seventeen seventy-six. Seventeen seventy-six. Am I right? I better be. Yeah. July 4th, 1776. Let me ask you. How many amendments are in the Constitution? Ooh. I think it's, uh, 35... 7. Tw 27. Oh, shit. 27? That's a word. That was, like, one of the ones where I was like, nobody knows that. <laughs> well, I know it now. What are the first 10 amend... First, uh, 10 amendments of the Constitution called? Bill of Rights. And what did the Bill of Rights do? Uh, Name three things the Bill of Rights do. You mean the Constitution? No, the Bill of Frickin' okay. Rights. It defines the government. No, that's the Constitution. Okay, that's the Constitution. We have homework to do. We've okay. got homework to do, guys. <laughs> Thank you for watching. We've got a lot of studying to do. So what does the what was the answer to that one? Oh, the Bill of Rights? Yeah. The um, three things that it... It ensures, like, uh, isn't it like freedom of... Re religion, freedom of the press. I don't think that's the question. You're mixing it up. Let's wrap this up, okay? Quickly, Dan. You're mixing it all up. End it. All right, bye, everybody. See you next week. <laughs>